Today we're going to be talking about the iconic symbol of the American West, and that is the cowboy hat. Now, if you guys have watched my channel for any length of time, you guys know that I've been sporting cowboy hats for a long time. Uh, all the way back, probably 30 years or more, I've been off and on wearing cowboy hats. And yes, a lot of people ask, I do have a full head of hair. I am not bald. So that gets, you'd be surprised how many times that gets brought up in the comments. Oh, you're wearing a hat because of this scent. No, I just love wearing hats. But I've been wearing this hat off and on probably for a year and a half, two years on a lot of outdoor excursions, a lot of hunting trips. And I thought, hey, I'm out here in my backwoods playground. This is no better time or place than to share the iconic old style Western hat. This is the Stetson Powder River, and it is a mixture of buffalo hair. It's part of their buffalo collection. So what I'm gonna do today is share that with you. First off, I'm gonna set this hat out. We'll do some quick specs rundown on this hat and then I'll bring it back 360 and we'll talk about the functionality of this hat. You're not gonna wanna miss it, folks. Cowboy hats, the Old West, we're out here in the woods. The video starts now. So the Powder River is one of eight hats in Stetson's, quote, Buffalo series collection of hats. And I was drawn to this hat, just one, the shape. I like that cattleman crease. I like a four inch brim. The crown is uh, four and five eighths high. So it has that traditional look. I also like the band on this hat. It's got a... Um, leather with uh, hair mixture and then Stetson adds a really nice little pin on there the buffalo pin just gives it a little pop makes it look really good also has a leather sweatband on the inside and just beautiful uh, silk satin lining in there also talks about its buffalo collection just a beautiful hat to wear now Stetson has been making hats for a very long time. They're made here in America, in Texas. And part of this series, they chose uh, buffalo hair that is a mixture in with uh, another blend. Now, I'm not sure if they're using wool or if they're using rabbit on this. Their website didn't say a lot of their stuff, obviously. You know, they have trade secrets on how they do stuff and how they rate. Now, this is a 4X, and a lot of people get a little bit confused about the X standard in cowboy hats. Used to be back in the day, like a 10X hat was like a top-of-the-line hat. Now a 10X hat is probably a middle, low middle of the line hat. In each manufacturer also has different ratings. So their X's and the X count on their hat means something different to each company. I mean, there's hats that have a hundred X that are pure beaver or have a mixture of other uh, high grade fur in those hats. A majority of the hats, if you're getting them, especially Stetsons in that uh, four, five, six X range, usually has a slight mixture of beaver in it and then maybe um, some high grade rabbit fur. This one has a ton of buffalo fur in it, hence that's why they have the buffalo series. This is a mink color hat, that's what they call it. I like that brown look. It goes with my, uh, my Outback Trading Company uh, vest really well. I've been sporting this vest for a long time. A great company as well. I have a few of their dusters I've worn here on the channel. 
uh, over the years. But as with anything, if you're out here, you're using your hats, they're gonna get dirty, they're gonna get sweaty. There's proper uh, protocol for the best way to uh, care for your hat. One of them is, is that when you store them, always store them with the crown down. Never set your hat where it's laying on the brim. One, um, heat, moisture and such will reshape your hat and you'll lose the form of your hat. Uh, two, you want your uh, sweatband to dry out. And sometimes I'll put in a hat jack and I'll show you guys a uh, photo of a hat jack inside my hat to help keep it shape because with a leather sweatband, sometimes uh, when that leather dries, it'll shrink down and the hat will get really tight again. And I like to be able to keep the shape and not always have to feel like I'm breaking in a hat. So um, that's just a little tip. Now also cleaning your hat. Hats are gonna get dirty. I'm out here, it's dusty, it's windy, stuff's flying around. You're gonna get all sorts of debris on your hats. And that's what it's meant for. These aren't safe queens. Use your hats, get them out there. I mean, they, they've been using them for hundreds of years out here in the West. Herding cattle, blazing new trails, mining. I mean, there's just thousands upon thousands of awesome stories about uh, cowboy hats and in general, just the history behind them. But a good way to clean them, always start like top down on the left hand side and you wanna brush or sponge your hat with the, um, what I call the current, the, the way that the felt lays down on the hat you don't want to go against the grain. So always start at the left, go counterclockwise around the hat. You'll go with that grain and the hair will lay down. If you go opposite of that clockwise from left to right, you're going to raise the fibers up and then your hat's just going to look fuzzy all the time. But don't be afraid to brush your hat out. And on the bottom, you do just the opposite. So on the top, you're doing this way, then on the bottom, you go around the same way. Now, you're gonna notice, I don't know if you can tell, your hat's gonna get sweat stains and such. If you use your hats, they're gonna have character marks. And that just builds uh, part of the mojo, part of the mystique of your hat. It tells a story about you, where you've been, what you're doing. And you know what, in this time of place, don't be afraid to wear your hats. A lot of folks own cowboy hats and I wear them out in town and folks go, man, that's a really cool hat. I, I have a bunch of cowboy hats. And I go, why don't you wear them? He goes, oh, I'm afraid to wear them. I'm afraid what people are gonna say, what people are gonna think. Who cares? Who cares? The only person that matters is you, what you think about yourself. Never be afraid to express yourself, especially with an iconic item of the old American West. I'll leave a link in the video description below. Um, to a couple websites where if you're interested you can purchase this hat but there's also a ton of hats uh, in the buffalo collection and i'll read off a few right now and show you some photos and something may strike a nerve with you that fits your style so let's start off with the broken bow that is a gus shape hat kind of like that lonesome dove style hat that comes in buck tan they also have one called the drifter and that has a pinch front and that comes in stone color also they have one called the stone portage and that's a traditional style hat also in stone color next is going to be the seneca that has a pinch front crease and they have what's called silver sand. That's a really cool looking hat. Almost looks like a little bit of a silver belly. Next up in the lineup is the Apache. That is a traditional style cowboy hat, has that cattleman crease. That comes in black. And then we have the Seminole. That's also a Gus style hat. Comes in mink, really good looking hat, if I say so myself. And then the next one is the Silver Mine. That's also a Gus style hat in stone color, kind of like that borderline silver belly 
type color. So there's a little bit of something for everyone in that Buffalo lineup. And the good thing is they're affordable. I think I bought this hat for like 130 bucks. And I said, you know what? I'm going to be out using the woods. I'm going to be hunting. I'm going to be sweating. I'm going to be working with it. It's not going to be my Sunday go to meet and hat. I'm, I'm going to just use this hat like crazy. And I don't care if it gets thrashed. So that's the cool thing about it. Affordable hats, great looking hats, awesome styles, good looking colors. Stetson, five out of five stars, man. For price, value, quality, selection, you can't beat it. I'll leave links in the video description below if you guys are interested in any of these hats. Folks, that's a wrap. I'm so glad to be able to be out here with you folks today. One, talking about cowboy hats, sharing a little bit of the culture. And you know what? Create your own style. Don't be afraid to wear your hat and get out in the woods and have fun, folks. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.